Grunfeld defense, Russian, Hungarian variation. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. Black got the better of white in that game. Black pounced on their opportunities in the opening. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. Nf3 supports the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. The light squared bishop can advance and the c4 pawn is attacked when d5 occupies space in the center. This defends the attacked pawn. Dxc4 captures the c4 pawn, attacks the queen and opens up the center. Qxc4 captures the c4 pawn and places the queen in the center where it controls many important squares. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. The development of the light squared bishop is permitted by e4's complete control of the center. A6 controls b5 and prepares the b5 pawn push. It is the last book move. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This strikes the rival queen. It is ideal. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is incorrect. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. This misses a chance to trample a knight. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This protects the attacked pawn. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. Black got the better of white in that game. Black pounced on their opportunities in the opening.